Hello guys and welcome to TG on the Game Nerd, the show where I talk about our play games and today we're going to be playing Undertale. In the last episode, if you don't remember, we went ahead and went on a date with Alfie's, which ended very weirdly. Uh, but we also went to the lab and we found a note right where, right beneath Alfie's quote-unquote bathroom, which seems to be... So, there seems to be something over here that she has kept locked away. And we're going to go ahead and go in there right now and see what there is to find. Warning, warning, elevator losing power, M tether stability lost, altitude dropping. Welcome to the true lab. Entry number one. This is it. Time to do what the king has asked me to do. I will create the power to free us all. I will unleash the power of the soul. Entry number two. The barrier is locked by soul power. Unfortunately, that power cannot be recreated artificially. Soul power can only be derived from what is once living. So to create more, we will have to use what we have now. The Souls of the Monsters. Entry number three. But extracting a soul from a living monster would require incredible power. Besides being impractical, doing so would instantly destroy the soul's host. And unlike the persistent souls of the humans, the souls of the monsters disappear immediately upon death. If only I could make a monster's soul last. Entry number five. I've done it. Using the blueprint, I've extracted it from the human souls. I believe this is what gives their souls the strength to persist after death. The will to keep living, the resolve to change fate. Let's call this power determination. That's a term we've heard a lot. The True Laboratory. There's a note on the ground. You can't make it all out. Elevator, lost power, enter the center door. That's all you could read. Power room. So the goal of here is that you can see on the store there are four sort of lights. There's red, green, yellow, and blue, and what we need to do is we need to turn all of these on. So let's go around the facility and do that. First of all, there are chips in here. There might be a bit there that I forget exactly what it is, but I don't know. Entry number six. And the core asked everyone outside the city for monsters that had fallen down. Their bodies came in today. They're still comatose, and soon they'll all turn to dust. What happens if I inject determination into them? If their souls persist after they perish, then freedom might be closer than we all thought. Entry number nine. Things aren't going well. None of the bodies have turned into dust, so I can't get the souls. I told the families that I would give them the dust back for the funerals. People are starting to ask me what's happening. What do I do? You turned on the sink. You turned on the sink. You turned on the sink. These nightmare creatures are... something. So for these things, you also need to find a way to spare them. And so I believe for these ones, you need to click sell. Check out your cell phone. You can hear voices through the receiver. Come join the fun. I'd rather not. So if you couldn't guess already, this place is just going to be... nothing but... Weirdness. I... I might die uh, a couple times in here. Uh, memory head A, B, and C. So, they said join, so let's go ahead and join.
Maybe you refused? That's a shame. Okay, so you need to do the opposite of what they say. And we have the red key, so that's one down and three to go. You plug it in right here. Or not plug it in, but you put it into the slot. And that's basically what we're going to be doing throughout the true laboratory. Can't make it all out. Drain dropped it. It's all you could read. So there's your hint for looking into the sink. This place is like actual nightmare fuel. It's just... I don't even know how to describe it, which is how you know it's really good, because it's just so weird, and it makes you feel uncomfortable the entire time. Entry number 12. Nothing is happening. I don't know what to do. I'll just keep injecting everything with determination. I want this to work. Entry number 13. One of the bodies opened its eyes. We have this sort of hospital room we have an empty dog food bowl and one of the beds you can see has the uh, sheets sort of uh, pulled down I guess and so what we want to go ahead and do is first I'll look at this entry number 14 everyone that had fallen down have woken up they're all walking around and talking like nothing is wrong I thought they were goners let's save here and this one is there's something under the sheets Check it out. Sure. Hey, it's the yellow key. I, for I forgot that was there. But we also have this one right here, and it'll allow us to uh, sleep right here and heal, I believe. And we're back to it. Right up here. Okay, so that leads over to two other places. And this leads to this place over here. So I'll go ahead and check out this place first. We have us in the mirror right here. Entry number seven. We'll need a vessel to wield the monster's souls when the time comes. After all, a monster cannot absorb the souls of other monsters. Just as a human cannot absorb a human soul. So then... What about something that's neither human nor monster? Entry number 10. Experiments on the vessel are a failure. It doesn't seem to be any different from the control cases. Whatever. They're a hassle to work with anyway. The scenes just stick to you and they won't let go. This thing, we're going to go ahead and pick on it. You pick on comma. It seemed effective. Afraid of? Yeah, I'm afraid of you. I'll say this once again. There is just no way to describe what is happening on screen. So whenever something spooky happens, I'll go ahead and just let it play out and not say anything during it because i don't know how to commentate over that mystify did something mysterious comma recognizes it has more to learn from this world so now this thing with butterflies on its head sh starts shooting those at it as projectiles and you want to go ahead and just dodge that and then once that's over you want to go ahead and pray you kneel and pray for safety reaper bird seems to remember something Someone finally gets it, Ribbit and Courage. You notice how it has three different text boxes, even though it just seems like one monster. Let's spare it. And we won! Zero XP, zero gold. Oh. There's a note on the ground. Can't make it all out. Cold. That's incredibly ominous. We have a blue 
a slot for a blue key, so I probably should have gone to this place last, but you know what? I don't f feel like it really matters what order you go into, because it's some stuff is still going to be out of order anyways, so we'll just keep trekking along, and yeah, I'll go ahead and save again, just so I don't have to fight the uh, Reaper bird again. Entry number 15. Seems like the three thirds with a, with a dead end, but at least we got a happy ending out of it. I sent the souls back to Asgore, returning... Re Asgore returned the vessel to its garden, and I called all of the families and told them everyone's alive. I'll send everyone back tomorrow. Entry number 16. No, 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 no! Hey, the green key! Alrighty, another save point. Smells like sweet lemons. So first what we want to do is we want to hum. You hum a familiar tune, Lemon Bread's Body Shakes. Welcome to my special hell. We have this monster. Ah. I sometimes have trouble with that one because I feel like it doesn't really give me enough time, but this is near the end of the game, so it should be expected that some parts of this are hard. Uh, next we want to flex. You flexed your arm, lemon bread to muscle shakes. Do you think I'm pretty? And then we have Unhug. You let Lemon Bread be. Lemon Bread seems to remember something. I've felt this before. This weird... Yeah. Again, I have... I have nothing that I can say. DT Extraction mach Machine status inactive. Okay, I forgot to go up to this door over here, so let's check that out. Is this... Ooh, so let me go ahead and plug this in, in first. Yellow key fits perfectly into the slot. There's a note on the ground. You can't make it all out. Under sheets. It's all you could read, so there's the hint for the yellow key. Entry number four. I have been researching humans to see if I can find any info about their souls. I ended up snooping around the castle and found these weird tapes. I don't feel like Asgore the Wasp them. I don't think he should. How about we watch them in his stead? There's a VHS player with a few tapes picked out beside it. They seem to be labeled in a specific order. Will you watch one? Uh, yeah, let's watch all of these. So, tape one. <clears throat> Psst. Glory, wake up. Hmm? What is it, dear? Uh, and why do you have that video camera? Shush, I want to get your reaction. Gory, dearest, what is my favorite vegetable? Hmm. Carrots, right? No, no, no. My favorite vegetable is edamame. Get it? Go back to bed, dear. No, no, not yet. <laughs> now, if I were a dog, what breed of dog would I be? Hmm. I don't know, honey. What kind of dog would you be? I would be a Mamaranian. Ho 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 You sure are excited to have this child. You know, if you keep making jokes like this, one day you could be a famous Mamedian. Well, I am going to bed. Hey, come on, Tori. That one was funny. <laughs> I know, I am just teasing you. Good night, dear. Good night, honey. Oh dear, perhaps it is too dark in here for the video to come out. Okay, Kara, are you ready? Do your creepy face. Ah! <laughs> oh, wait, I had the lens cap on. What? You're not gonna do it again? Come on, quit tricking me. <laughs> Howdy, Kara. 
Smile for the camera. Huh, this time I got you. I left the cap on on purpose. Now you're smiling for no reason. <laughs> what? Oh, yeah, I remember. When we tried to make the butterscotch pie for Dad, right? The recipe asked for cups of butter, but we accidentally put in buttercups instead. Yeah, those flowers got him really sick. I felt so bad, we made Mom really upset. I should have laughed it off like you did. Um, anyway, where are you going with this? Huh? Turn off the camera? Okay. I... I don't like this idea, Kara. What? N no, I'm not... Big kids don't cry. Y yeah, you're right. No, I never doubt you, Kara. Never. Y yeah, we'll be strong. We'll free everyone. I'll go get the flowers. Kara, can you hear me? We want you to wake up. Kara, you have to stay determined. You can't give up. You are the future of humans and monsters. Psst, Kara, please, wake up. I don't like this plan anymore. I... I... No, I said I'd never doubt you. Six, right? We just have to get six. And we'll do it together, right? So, I'm sure some of you in the audience are extremely confused, and some of you have a lot of, you know, pieces fitting together. This place is incredibly foggy. Uh, you can probably hear from the sound effects that we're walking by a lot of different things. Uh, a lot of those different, what are they called? The, uh, the, the different logs, you know. Uh, curtain, yep. All right, so I think I have to go over to the right uh, because when we entered the hallway over here from the bottom, we could go left or right. And then once we do that, I think we have to go back down and right over to where the uh, mirror, the big mirror was that we saw that creepy stuff from. And then finally we can go back over to the left and that'll probably be the end of the true lab. Entry number 11. Now that Metaton made it big, he never talks to me anymore, except to ask when I'm going to finish his body. But I'm afraid if I finish his body, he won't need me anymore. Then we'll never be friends ever again. Not to mention, every time I try to work on it, I just get really sweaty. There's a switch on the wall. Press it. It's the Amalgamate. Call the Amalgamate. It bounds toward you, flecking a strange liquid from an orifice. Amalgamate is hovering close, looking for affection. You pet the Amalgamate. It convulses rapidly, then calms down. It rests quietly on your lap for a moment. Suddenly, it shoots away and crawls wildly on the walls. Malgamet is striking the wall with its claws. Those claws natural? weird we were just talking about the amalgamates claws and we get a compliment about our about claws uh then we go ahead and play you throw your weapon into the corner of the room the amalgamate brings it back to you proudly 
You repeat this process a few times. Now Amalgamate is very tired. It leans its dripping, amorphous body on you. Amalgamate is twitching affe affectionately. You pet the Amalgamate. It starts to generate a stage one happiness froth. You pet decisively. The amalgamate seems to be satisfied by all this. You won. See, so... Putting all of that aside, you could see how there's a pattern with some of these. How it's like there's multiple different monsters in one. So just keep that in mind for a little bit. So now I believe with the fan active, this should be clear over here. Yep. Entry number 19. The family keep calling me to ask when everyone is coming home. What am I supposed to say? I don't even answer the phone anymore. It's a refrigerator. It's empty. Oh. It seems to contain samples of some kind. Entry number 20. Asgore left me five messages today. Four about everyone being angry. What about this cute teacup that he found that looks like me? Thanks, Asgore. It's a refrigerator. It's empty. Entry number 21. I spent all my time at the garbage dump now. It's in the, it's my element. It's a refrigerator. It seems to contain samples of some kind. The refrigerator. It's empty. so cold. You told a bad pun about snow. Her expression starts to shift. <laughs> I remember. Told a bad pun about snow. Her expression changes more. <laughs> Thank you. Told a bad pun about snow. She's completely calmed down. You won! God, that's depressing. Uh, now I think we just need to move back to where we were, were before, and then we should be good. Just completely not, don't mention the moving uh, refrigerator we saw back there. There's not much to say about this place because it's pretty much just all cut and dry, put out in front of you. And so yeah, back here we have the yellow flowers down here. And I'm pretty sure I did everything here that I could with all of the different entries and stuff like that. Click the blue key fits perfectly into the slot. So now that we've put all four keys into the slots, we can head back. Thought I just saw something for a second, I don't know why. I think it must have been like the screen, like the bottom of the screen doing something weird with the, uh, because I thought I saw like the, uh, like the blanket on this, uh, this bed move for a second. I think that must have just been like me not looking at it directly in the screen doing something weird with it. But yeah, now we want to head on back all the way back to the beginning to right here at the store. Let's go ahead and save right here. And you know what? I'll go ahead and buy some chips. Might as well. Dispense some chisps. I believe. Potato chisps. Potato chisps. Heals 13 HP. Regular old potato chisps. I assume that's like a joke on like how some places call it chips, some call it crisps. Seems like another elevator has lost its power. 
Seems to be turned off. Seems like this controls the elevator's power. Turn it on. Hey, stop! I got you guys some food, okay? Sorry about that. They get kind of sassy when they don't get fed on time. I think they smelled the potato chip, chip you had and... Anyway, the power went out, and I've been trying to turn it back on. But it seems like you were one step ahead of me. This was probably just a big inconvenience for you. But I appreciate that you came here to back me up. As I said, I was afraid I might not come back. But that's not because of these guys or anything. I was just worried I would be too afraid. To tell the truth, that I might run away or do something cowardly. cowardly. Uh, I, I suppose I owe you an explanation. As you probably know, Asgore asked me to study the nature of souls. D during my research, I isolated a power I called determination. I injected it into dying monsters so that their souls would last after death. But the experiment failed. You see, unlike humans, and humans, monsters' bodies don't have enough physical matter to take those concentrations of determination. Their bodies started to melt and lost what physicality they had. Pretty soon, all of the test subjects had melted together into... those. Seeing them like this, I knew... I couldn't tell their families about it. I couldn't tell anyone about it, no matter how much everyone was asking me, and I was too afraid to do more, any more work knowing everything I'd done so far had been such a horrific failure. But now, now I've changed my mind about all this. I'm going to tell everyone what I've done. It's going to be hard, being honest, believing in myself. I'm sure there will be times where I'll struggle. I'm sure there will be times where I screw up again. But knowing deep down that I have friends to fall back on, I know it'll be a lot easier to stand on my own. Thank you. Come on, guys. It's time for everyone to go home. Seems like a happy ending, but we still have two more entries left. Entry number eight. I've chosen a candidate. I haven't told Asgore yet, because I want to surprise him with it. In the center of his garden, there's something special. A fresh golden flower that grew before all the others. The flowers from outside the world. From the outside world. It appeared just before the queen left. I wonder, what happens when something without soul gains the will to live? Entry number 18. The flower's gone. Sure you can guess what that means. It's a voice you've never heard before. Kara, are you there? It's been a long time, hasn't it? But you've done well. Thanks to you, everything has fallen into place. Kara, see you soon. Thank you guys so much for watching. In the next episode, now that we've become good friends with Alphys, we're going to move on and fight against Asgore once more. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.